Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be talking about UID camera sharing. This was released about nine days ago, and I think it's a great feature. You could assign cameras to different users, even if they aren't admins. Before, you were only able to allow admins to view or edit cameras. To start off, if you're using a UDM Pro or a UDM SE as your UID, as well as Protect, I'll show you how to do the camera sharing with that. If you're using a UMBR or a UMBR Pro and you want to share those cameras, we'll need to load the UID agent onto our UNBRs. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you'd like to support my channel, I do have affiliate links in the description below. Before we start, this video assumes that you already have UID installed and you have a few users added. If you don't have that, I do have other videos on how to do it and I will put it in the description below. First, we'll start off by assigning a camera to a user through my UDM SE and then we'll move on to my UMBR. So we'll go to my UID portal and then we'll open up the UID manager portal. The steps here are very easy to be able to give them a camera. So if we go over to the users in the left hand pane and then we click on our user that we want to give the cameras to, which will be this Mac Telecom test, we could then go over to our assignments. If we scroll down, we could see cameras and then we could assign a camera. On my UDM SE, I only have one camera, which is this G4 instant camera. So we'll click on that and then we'll press assign. Now we're on my phone and I'm going to sign into that Mac Telecom test user account that we've created on UID. So we have my domain name, we're gonna press continue, and then we're gonna enter the email of the user for this site. And we can see from here that the cameras have been assigned to this user. So I'll click on the cameras, and this is the G4 instant camera that is sitting right beside me in my office. So that's very easy to do when we're connected to the same console. Now let's load UID onto our UNVR. So now we're on my UNVR Pro and we're in the settings. We can see that we have set up the UID. So I'm gonna click set up. Now it's asking us to activate UID. We're gonna to go to the bottom left-hand corner. We're gonna to agree to the privacy policies and the end user license and then press activate UID. Next it's saying, please read before setting up UID. It's just about Unify Access and I'm gonna press continue. Now it's asking us to enter our workspace domain. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll press continue. Now in step two, it's saying enter your UID agent token. So we need to get this from the UID portal manager. And to get this token out of the portal manager, we need to go to our settings wheel. And then we need to go to unify OS consoles. From here, we have the UID agent token and we need to create a new UID agent token. So I'll click on that and then we'll give it a name. I'll just call it UNVR. We'll have it never expire. You could do whichever you want. And we could also leave on one click Wi-Fi, one click VPN and access and press create token. Now this token we need to copy and it expires after 10 minutes. So I'll copy the token. We'll go back to my UMVR Pro, we'll paste the token into it and then we'll press continue. On step three, it's asking which site do you wanna add the device? I only have the one site and this is in the basic tier, which is free. So we'll select the Mac Telecom and we'll press continue. All right, now it's activating our UID on our UNVR Pro. Now coming back to UID Portal Manager, we could see my UDM SE and my UNVR a part of this UID domain. Now we just need to add cameras to the users. So we'll go back up to users. I'm gonna click on this Mac Telecom test again, and then we'll go to assignments. We're gonna scroll down. We can see that they still have the G4 instant a part of their assignments but we could assign more cameras to them. Within my UNVR Pro, I have a camera group assigned, which you could make different groups for different people or different areas in your organization, or you could just select the cameras which you want them to view. So I'm gonna say I want this person to view my Cadio 360, my G4 Bullet, and maybe my middle driveway, and then we'll press assign. Now we're back on my phone on that Mac Telecom testing user, and we could see that we still have the G4 Instant under the site Mac Telecom Networks. And this separates it by console. So this is my UDM SE, but if we hit this drop down arrow, we'll be able to see my UMBR Pro. We could see the Mac Telecom SE and then we could see the Mac Telecom UNVR. So let's select that and our cameras that are assigned should pop up. And we could see all the cameras. So we have my Cadio 360, we have my G4 bullet in my backyard, and then we have my AI bullet, which is in the front of my house. So as you can see, camera sharing is very easy to do and you could assign different cameras to users, which is great. The non-admin users only have view only, so they can't change any settings of your cameras. Let me know what you think about camera sharing and UID in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.